All right, so good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the Whitnow Homestead. Today, what I'm doing is I'm preparing these small toilet paper cylinders. I just got done cutting out 49 of them. And what I'm hoping to do is plant some sweet corn. And I've done a little research on it. Some people say it's not good to start the corn from a starter. I listened to a guy on YouTube about six o'clock this morning. I believe he's from Australia. And he said one of the best ways to start corn is to put them in a starter. So it's like anything, I guess it's people's preference on what they want to do. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try it and see what happens. And I'm supposed to plant these about an inch to an inch and a half. And so as I've mentioned in one of my other videos is that these recycled toilet paper dispensers or holders, whatever you want to call them, um, they seem to be working really, really good for starters. They're round, they're about the same size as a inch and a half, two inch starter tray. And all I do is put them in a small cardboard box, the lid of a box, as you can see. And uh, everything here is recyclable. So there's nothing that's going to go to waste. And uh, as I've said before, as I like to be as conservative as I can and recycle things, repurpose a lot of things. As you can see, I have a box full of these uh, little cylinders so they're real easy to cut with a pair of scissors cut them in half that gives you approximately an inch and a half to inch and three quarters of a cup so um, what I have right here is some potting soil that I mixed and what I have here is I have one third of my compost I have one third black cow and about one third of regular potting soil and so i'm hoping this mixture here is going to be a good combo i did some earlier uh, back on uh, february 20th and i believe that um, i put a little milorganite fertilizer in with it and i believe i burned up maybe some of my seeds I'm not sure had a lot of stuff come up but my bell peppers did not come up at all and they just could have been bad seeds another little trick here uh, as a side note when it tells you how deep to plant your seed um, I usually have a really really good eye just being in the construction business all my life but just to make things a little bit easier I take something simple like this uh, a tool I marked it at one inch and put a line all the way around it so that when I'm tamping these holes down in and packing them in getting all the air out I can look and see that I'm at one inch I hope that you can see this for your viewers and uh, right now uh, today is March 11th one day after my birthday yesterday was my birthday and I had a really really nice time and all the happy work birthday wishes from my friends and family so <clears throat> right here I have 49 cups I'm just gonna put in one seed per cup because they recommend when you're planting in your regular dirt to put two seeds in obviously because you don't know what's going to germinate and so um, I'm just going to go ahead and use one and if it don't come up I'll just start another one and this corn here is called Q 
corn sweet uh, botanical interest it's called true gold so we'll find out if it's true gold or not see what kind of corn I get out of this there's so many different varieties of vegetables when you start your garden sometimes if you're a novice like me um, <laughs> you don't really know what to try so you know you just take a shot at it document what you're doing so that if it doesn't work you can always go back and um, look at your notes and you're reminded of what worked or what didn't work and uh, if it don't work if it's not a good plant if it doesn't produce if it's not uh, good maybe for your geographical area then you don't have to buy it again pretty simple the bad part about it is this is a lot of work doing this so um, <laughs> I personally want every seed to germinate and come up and give me some corn because this is rough on the back and I don't want to have to do this too many times as an update on my editing uh, for me this has been a, a real task to learn how to do that um, I'm getting up and and doing tutorials every day and going through it and try to learn a little bit more and more so uh, I'm getting there day by day and once again for uh, those of you that are watching and following along with me on this journey with me and my wife Kimberly uh, I thank you for your patience all right so there's my seeds they're in there really really nice as you can see they're approximately one inch in depth and now I'm going to go ahead and cover them and I'm going to thank the Lord in advance for germinating these beautiful seeds for me and bringing a nice harvest and I plan on sharing a lot of the the fruit of these uh, vegetables with my family and friends that's all part of why I'm doing this I'm doing it because I like it I'm doing it because uh, I think there's just something really special about growing your own food. I like that. And uh, I do it because it's healthy. I know what I'm putting in here. I'm trying to keep it pretty organic. Even the Melorganite fertilizer is a organic fertilizer that I use. So, um, anyway stay with me let's enjoy this journey and as usual i pray that the lord has blessed you today in a mighty way and i pray that today not only you were blessed but i believe that you were a blessing to someone as well all right have a good day stay tuned and uh, we'll watch his corn grow